Today I want you to look at your keywords and we're going to get really thorough in thinking about which keywords to target and which keywords not to target. And I'm going to show you a few different things to look at, a few different ways to, to make sure you're not missing anything. And that's what this video is going to be all about. So the first example here, uh, this is a company that offers uh, luau experiences in Hawaii. <clears throat> so if we are, if we're thinking about the, the keywords, of course, the brand name is going to be one of the best keywords. And I do recommend targeting your brand if you're a company that people are, are searching for by name. But let's think about these other keywords. So uh, Luau Hawaii, I think is good for the most part, because we're talking about the service that's being offered and a location. Uh, anytime you are pairing a service with the name of a location, it tends to be pretty good. Now, uh, Luau Honolulu is even better because that's more of a specific location than Hawaii. Um, assuming that the business actually offers their service in Honolulu. I'm not sure about that, but the more specific the location, of course, the better. Because when people are going to Google and including a location with their search, they're usually looking for some type of local company, some type of local experience. Um, let's look at this keyword though, Luau. And it's uh, uh, got a plus sign in front of it, which uh, doesn't mean a whole lot, but with these one word keywords, there's still a lot of room for negotiation as far as Google is concerned. Let's take a look at what type of traffic is actually coming from this keyword. And I'll also select uh, this one, which by the way, is exactly the same. If you have one word, whether it has a plus in front of it or quotes around it, this is, this is the same keyword that's actually being targeted. So I can select these and then look at the search terms that are coming just from those keywords. And then we can see uh, some decent searches, right? We're getting traffic from Luau in, in Honolulu from these location keywords. Um, but I would, if this was my company, I would not want traffic from people just searching for Luau's or things like this where people are searching luau clothes. So these one word keywords, I think are, are good for a period of time. I like to use them to, to see basically if there's anything that I'm missing in a campaign. If there's something that I didn't think of or didn't find in my other keyword research, if I add a one word word like this, it's going to help me find all these things. Then I can go through and add these as, as exact match keywords. Once I do that though, once, once I've let these one word keywords do their job, it's time to pause them. Um, because once, once I've found any, any of these extra keywords that maybe I've missed, Okay, all these things I would say that have locations included are good. These should be added as exact match and or phrase match keywords. Once I've done that and I'm not getting any more good traffic from these one word keywords, then it's time to pause them. Okay, they've done their job. So to recap, I... Uh, I, I, I like one word keywords. I call them catch all keywords because they're going to catch everything you might have missed, but I only like them for a period of time in order to find actual better keywords that are going to be more high value. The other thing you want to look for when you're looking at your keyword report is the uh, conversion data. Now in this particular account, I don't think it's particularly uh, accurate or good data to work with. But if you have reliable conversion tracking set up, then you'd want to look at 
at your keywords and which ones are costing a lot more per conversion than you'd actually want to be paying for. Uh, you might see that a lot with, with some of these shorter keywords. You might find higher costs and fewer conversions. Uh, once you start picking them off though and, and turning them into their own keywords, um, that's when you should start seeing better results from these more specific keywords that you're now targeting. And that's another point of targeting keywords more specifically rather than just targeting short keywords that, that catch everything is that now you can look at the data for that specific keyword and then make decisions on that based on how well that specific keyword is converting. Let's look at another account and I'll get into another way to do some keyword research. So this account is only targeting one, one word keyword. Um, it's, it's an acronym of course, but I, I would still call this a one word keyword. And again, this keyword is going to be bringing lots of different traffic. So this is an EMDR uh, therapist, someone that people can go to. So yeah, I would want to target words like EMDR therapy. I'd want to target words that include the location that the business is in. These are going to be really good keywords. But again, we're going to be getting a lot of stuff we don't want just with this one word keyword. What I want to focus on with this account though is, is how can we find more keywords like this, like EMDR therapy, EMDR Cincinnati. How do we find more keywords like that? And what I recommend using is the keyword planner, which is Google's tool and you can get to it from tools and settings and then go to keyword planner. And then we're going to do uh, discover new keywords and I'm going to put in EMDR therapy, EMDR Cincinnati. Not sure if I spelled that right. And now we can get some more ideas. Um, I am looking at the whole United States right now rather than just the specific location. I might change that in a bit, but if we look at a bigger area, that gives us more ideas, not necessarily localized ideas, but more in general. So if I'm scrolling down this, I can see um, eye movement therapy. So not knowing exactly what EMDR is, I don't know if this is the same thing. If rapid eye movement therapy is the same as EMDR, but this might be something that we want to add into the campaign. EMDR near me might be something we want to add into the campaign. Um, no, EMDR counseling. Okay. All things that we might want to add into the campaign. So when you're looking through this, just think about what, what is someone's intent behind these keywords? If they're just searching EMDR, are they really looking for a therapist or is this very top of funnel and they're maybe they just heard about EMDR and they want to know what it is, or maybe it's a college student writing a paper or a high school student writing a paper about EMDR. Um, but in general, if the keyword talks about the specific service, and especially if the keyword includes the name of a location or something like near me, those are going to be really high value keywords for a business like this, for a local business. So today, really dig into your account. Even if you have tons of keywords you're already targeting, even if your account is performing very well, Take a deep look at your keywords. Think about things that uh, you might want to remove or things that you might want to add. Take a look at the keyword planner and try to uncover every stone you can. 
you could uncover a keyword that turns out to be really good for you and potentially uh, adds a lot of traffic, a lot of profitable traffic to your campaign. So don't, don't overlook this um, and even go so far as to do this periodically. Even if you do thorough research, um, come back to this. Come back, type in some of your some of your keywords. Let's say rapid eye movement therapy uh, worked well for us. Well, now we can type that in here and see if there are any more results based on that. Um, and and you can keep kind of expanding things that way and looking for new new keywords, new ideas. So I hope you got something out of today. And tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be talking about negative keywords and how to be overly proactive with negative keywords and how to save a lot of money in the process. So make sure to look for tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's episode, tomorrow's show, and I'll see you then. My name is Kyle Sullerud, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.